Imagine you want to go shopping, but instead of driving out to the boutiques, the boutique drives to you. Well, a DC woman, Danielle Johnson, started a mobile fashion boutique built in a tiny house, the first of its kind in our area. It's appropriately called Tiny House of Fashion Boutique. Danielle, we're so happy to have you here. Congratulations on Tiny House of Fashion Boutique. You guys have been rocking and rolling. How did this all start? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Well, Tiny House of Fashion started in 2017, and I like to say it's causing a disruptive innovation in the fashion industry. You know, I really think it's a unicorn and the new way to shop. Um, I would say that it's such an innovative business concept. It is the first mobile tiny house boutique in the DMV area. I mean, what a great idea. Instead of having to find the customers to come to you, you are literally going to the customers and I imagine growing a much bigger audience by doing this. Yes, definitely. That's what really makes my business stand out and makes it so unique um, that I can go to other people. I can reach the community in a more broad audience. Um, but my inspiration is always to be someone's inspiration. You know, to be an inspiration, you have to inspire. And this is bigger than fashion than, um, to me. And I haven't reached my full level um, or elevation yet. Uh, my goal is to have black and brown girls and others all over to recognize that no matter your upbringing, because I myself was in the foster care system, mm -hmm. that the impossible is not the, that the impossible is possible and that you can drive your own path. I'm literally driving my <laughs> whole tiny house. Since we have you here, I do want to get some expert advice of maybe some fall trends that we should be looking for. Yes, yes, definitely. I actually um, thought of some trends that I think are going to really be popular and I've kind of um, categorized them in trends of themes. Um, okay. So the first one I call the going out renaissance. And that's because so many people have been stuck indoors for so long. We're so ready to be outside and to be seen. Um, so this uh, going out renaissance involves bare skin, high heels, um, embellishments, embellished shoes and clothes, and you know, really standing out and even cutouts. I think some of the, the fall colors we'll see are fuchsia, uh, grass green, and tangerine. Um, and this is um, an example of a going out outfit. Uh, you have a lot of tool, a yeah. lot of fly, and this is definitely for the girl that wants to be seen. <laughs> well, I love that it's color too, because a lot of times we associate fall with darker colors and starting to mute ourselves. And that girl is not muting herself. That is for sure. Exactly. Uh, and the next trend that I have, I like to call the moving museum. And in this trend, we'll see a lot of 3D mural prints um, and designs, artistic and crafty prints. And, you know, things that really stand out, uh, pops of art. You may see printed pants and tops and even tailored bra uh, blazers with um, this mural print. And here's an example of that. This mural printed dress that has a corset at the waist that really cinches and um, helps shape. It's, I mean, fashion is art and you're literally wearing, you know, a, a walking piece of art. Definitely, definitely. So this one is really, um, you know, really thriving, lots of color, pops of art. So I love that one. Um, and then the next one is what I like to call catsuit couture. And I'm a little biased because I actually have a catsuit on right now myself. <laughs> Jumpsuits that are going to be seen in the fall um, will have a lot of velvet and mesh, as you can see, even on my um, piece that I'm wearing. You know, jumpsuits are popular because they're they're one piece. They're easy to zip up, easy to get in and out, and you don't have to worry about pairing. So um, the last piece I have uh, is definitely from my boutique, and I actually wore this for a fashion show. And this is, again, an item that showstopper. You want Absolutely. to be seen. <laughs> you, you you like to be seen, I, I guess, as much, too, and you want your ladies to feel the same. Yes, I mean, I tell people that I'm my own marketer, so I'm a walking marketing person of my own business, so it is important to feel good in, you know, your, your own skin and what you wear, definitely. Stand out and be seen for sure. What a cool idea, though. You can learn more about Danielle and Tiny House of Fashion Boutique at tinyhouseoffashion.com.